Today we're going to be talking about how to create the Garage Band Loop Rondo. First step, obviously, is open up Garage Band, which I have already done, and you select Empty Project. So choose, create, get rid of this little mini piano thing. You won't need that. I also, you won't need this little library thing, so you can close this drawer if that opens up. The main thing you'll be using are the loops, and that's up here in this corner, this little loop icon. Click on that, and it gives you a list of all the different types of loops. They're categorized by instruments, beats, bass, drums, piano, guitar, and so on. And they also have some other categories, like you can have it do just the jazzy sounding ones, or just the country sounding ones which can be helpful if you're looking for a specific style, but I wouldn't limit yourself to any one of those categories. So you can just start by listening to some of the different loops. Try to get an idea of what type of thing you want to use for your project. As you can see, there's all sorts of different styles. They're listed alphabetically for the most part. I usually like to start with just one instrument, like maybe I want to start with my guitar part. So I'll just click on guitars and I'll decide on which guitar part I'm going to use. And then once you've got something that you like, you can just drag it into the window here. And usually I'll give myself about at least eight measures for the first part, sometimes 16. And then you can start dragging in other sounds, like maybe once you've got your guitar part, you go and look for a drum part. Maybe it doesn't start right at the beginning. So let's listen to a little bit of that. Okay, so I think you probably get the idea of how these things start to come together. So I had already prepared a uh, demonstration example, so I'm going to open that up. Okay, so in this example, <clears throat> I've already com already completed the A section. It has a bass part, a conga part, a guitar part, and a drum beat. And I've also staggered the entrance of each instrument just for the effect. Let's listen to that. Bass line. Conga part. And when the drums come in, that's the whole section. Okay, so you get the idea. So this is my whole A section, and then now I'm going to start adding my B section. So I go back to my loop window here. <coughs> and I want this part to be different. Um, I'm going to start with the bass part, and let's see, I'm going to go with this Cuban timba bass. I had already picked all these loops ahead of time, so I know what they sound like. Obviously, when you do yours, you're going to need to listen to each part and decide whether or not it's a good fit. Okay, I'm going to next add the conga part. Uh, I chose the Cuban timba conga, a lot of times if they have the same name but a different instrument, you can be pretty much sure they're going to go well together, like these two parts here. Okay, but you don't have to choose things that sound, uh, that have the same name. Like I chose this uh, funk guitar thing here, I think it's called 70s guitar. Add 
that in. Uh, and then uh, another thing that you can do, instead of just using loops all the time, you can just use them as like one measure to time things. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Like here, I'm using this bongo groove thing here. but I'm just using it in every other measure. I use it for that length of time, but I'm not gonna use it in every measure, just every other measure. And then kind of going opposite that, got this Brazilian go-go thing. Here I'm just copying and pasting. Pasting in measure 20. Oops, wrong one. Measure 20. And measure 22. And then finishing off this section here. Measure 24. So here's the whole B section. kind of hear the back and forth between the bongo and the cowbell. All right, so now I've got my A section and I've got my B section. Now I want my A section again. So I'm just going to copy and paste what I did before. Select each thing and then go up to edit. Select copy. You can also use the keyboard's shortcuts for this part. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to paste that section there, so now I've got my A section. The first time it staggers in, but the second time I just used the whole thing. There's the A section, there's my B section here, there's my A section again. So I'm doing my C section last. Uh, again, I'm starting with the bass line, and I chose the Latin Fire bass line here. I'm doing all my sections as eight measures. For simplicity, it's just good to keep them all the same length. You can always change that later, but for now, they're all the same. This is a kind of a cool little keyboard effect here. Abstract atmosphere. Okay, and I'm not gonna use that uh, Throughout the entire thing, I'm just going to use it a couple times. So there's that. Okay, I'm going to throw some guitar in there. I had picked the Cuban guitar part there. And for a little change of pace, instead of drums, I'm using maracas here. <coughs> Big maracas. You can ignore most of those little pop-up messages. There's my C section. All right, so finally I'm gonna paste my A section to the end so that I'll have A, this is a little intro here. A, there's the B section, there's the A section, there's the C section. Finally, the A section again. Oop. I have to go copy that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I'm almost done here. We're not going to bother listening to the whole thing, but you can pretty much see the construction of it. You've got the A section, B section, A section copied, C section, A section again. <laughs>